Cristiano Ronaldo against Kylian Mbappe going head to head. A clash of football icons. It's the man in the mask for France. 1 0. Didier Deschamps' side again failed to score from open play. It is Kylian Mbappe's France who progress to the last eight. Before this tournament started, all the questions were about Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo! All Black saves it! He always gets the headlines, Ronaldo! But this one, this one does not belong to him! And still no tournament goal in 2024 for CR7, despite the penalty miss in extra time from Cristiano Ronaldo. But on penalties, Portugal are through. For a look ahead to Friday's quarterfinal action at the Euro, we are joined by our soccer analyst Stephen Caldwell for the Sports Center Soccer Breakdown presented by Adidas. Huge quarterfinal games on Friday at Euro 2024, Stephen. Let's start with France taking on Portugal in a rematch of the 2016 Euro final. It's also a clash of the Titans when you think about Mbappe and Ronaldo. Mbappe looking to win his first Euro title, Ronaldo looking to win his second. When it comes down to these two players, and these two teams, Stephen, who has the edge in this heavyweight matchup? Oh, I mean, I think France have got the edge just because of experience and, and being there and done it. But when you mentioned 2016, it's not that long ago that Portugal were the, the winners of this trophy. So, um, you know, how do we look at this one? I think it's going to be a tight game, Jermaine. I don't think either of these teams are going to come out really with lots of attackers or lots of attacking football. I think they're going to sound each other out and, and play pretty safe. France are, are built on a solidity, a de defensive shape, and Deschamps has this technique of just getting the best out of his team in tournament football. Uh, Portugal have not got going yet, I don't think. I think there's more to come from Portugal, and if Portugal are going to win this, they're going to have to be a lot better than we've seen so far in this tournament. They're going to have to go and take this game off France, in my opinion. They're going to have to be way more attacking, quicker football than what we've seen throughout, and, uh, and really try and test that defence, which has been so resolute so far for the French. And the other quarterfinal features host Germany taking on Spain, who have won all four of their matches in this tournament. Stephen, this seems like a matchup that is very even. Um, what do you think could be the difference in this huge European matchup? Uh, I mean, moments will be the difference in these big games. These two sides are absolutely terrific. They're, they're two of the best sides in the tournament, in my opinion. Spain have been scintillating at times. The football that they've played, the way that they get the white guys into play, the, 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 the movement of the team and the chances that they create have been so exciting. Germany's been a little bit up and down, but they are the host nation and they do have terrific players themselves. So I think this will be an attacking game. I do think both teams will go for it. I don't think Germany can afford to sit back. I think Germany might just alter the tactics a little bit, maybe play a little bit wider. They've been very uh, centrally orientated, trying to go through the middle of teams. I, I think they might try something a little bit different against Spain to upset them, take them out of the rhythm, because as we know, when the Spanish get in the rhythm, they look so good, they look like they're, they're impossible to beat. So Germany have got to come up with something a little bit different that Spain have not seen so far in this tournament if they want to get to the semi-final. And here's an interesting stack, st fact, Stephen. Spain has never eliminated a host nation at a major tournament. They will need to change that trend to win a record fourth European title. Stephen, thanks for this. Thank you.